All right, guys, this is by far the heaviest load I've ever carried with the Toyota here. It is completely full of pallet lumber, and this stuff is pretty dense. It has the truck squatting pretty good. I know it doesn't look like that much, but that thing has two leaves out of a old Chevy 3500. Let me see if you can see it here. Those two right there. That thing does not squat hardly ever. So this is definitely a load. So I'll try to get you guys some acceleration and just some overall driving. I'm expecting it to run pretty hot. It's, I think it's about 65, 70 degrees out. And we'll just see what we can do without getting it too warm. All right, we're pretty, pretty flat here. I'm just getting going and we'll just see how it gets up to 60 here in this amount of room. guys that is faster than this thing accelerated with the three liter in it I swear it just gets right up to 60 like nothing and that load is pretty dang massive at least for this little Toyota all right guys I'm out here towing this huge load and I'm in fourth at about 60 mile an hour. I haven't been going much faster than that just to keep the temperatures under control. It's about 65 degrees out. And as you can see, my intake air temps are getting pretty warm. And I'm fighting a hill here coming up this grade. That's about the hardest part I'll be there, but I'm consistently holding almost 25 pounds of boost just to hold 60 really testing this thing out here running 1200 degree EGTs we'll try to hold speed on this hill here but it's pretty steep at the end but my coolant's staying right there at the last threshold for the timing Just about to crest the top, almost at 1400 degrees. Coolant's coming up a little bit, and my oil temps almost up to 210 there. So, there, and it'll start easing out. Now I'm on flat land here. The oil temp is up to about 230, but I'm able to maintain 65 degrees here, or sorry, 65 mile an hour at just under 210 degree coolant temps, right at just over a thousand EGTs. And it's pulling this load just fine. I really wish I could get you guys a scale weight on this this load here I just really don't have access to anything close to me but man there has got to be a thousand pounds of tongue weight on this thing it's crazy uh, I know that my boat weighs about 3,000 pounds and towing that I mean this feels like at least another thousand pounds on top of it it's it's pretty pretty heavy and you can tell it trying to take off but overall 
I definitely got it home fine. I mean, I would not recommend anything like this without trailer brakes and your full setup. As far as that goes to stop this, I'm kind of out in the middle of nowhere, so I don't have a whole lot of traffic to worry about. But overall, yeah, it did just great. And not that I don't have the utmost confidence in my 6.4 power stroke. No joke there. But it's nice to know that I have a backup if I needed to tow something like this. My TDI will do it. So, yeah, I mean, if I had to rough guess, this has got to be over 8,000 pounds gross. Probably close to 9. And it was a workout for it, but... But it did it. So thanks for watching, guys.